sports section, you want to use it again, you could do that. All right, or your organizations maybe. The other option you could do is I could come right here and I can type in what I want that section to be. So I can just type in title page. I can then enter in who my staff members are and um, even associate some deadlines with that under my advisor login. So one thing you wanna make sure of is that once you've done these things that you do go ahead and click save to make sure you save all of your changes. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get ready to start working in Layout Pro. So what I do is I bring my mouse down, put my little hand over top of a page, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, click once, and it's going to bring me into Layout Pro. And I'm gonna pass it over to Rebecca. Awesome, thank you so much, Ryan. Now that we have done all of our planning, which are functions and activities that you guys can be doing right now before school starts in whatever form that, might, that may be, you can go ahead and go through the steps that Ryan showed you so that whenever we do log on to Layout Pro in the fall, you have some of those pieces that are set up and ready to go. So here I am on Layout Pro. The way I'm gonna do this, you guys, I know there are gonna be lots of questions. I'm gonna pop through these tabs on the left-hand side and then I'm also going to walk you through some options that are going to pop up for us along here on the top. Okay, so we're going to go through it in an organized fashion and hopefully we'll get to whatever is burning in your brain, whatever questions you have. If we don't, we are going to leave some time at the end so that our comment people can help us know what are some things that we missed and we'll make sure that before you leave that you have your question answered. Okay. So I'm going to start right here with the Pages tab. The Pages tab is just another view of the, image of the uh, page ladder that Ryan already set up for us. You can also look at just the pages that have been assigned to you if you want to. But for now, we're going to leave it on your book so that we can see the whole page ladder from here. And that's the Pages tab. The next tab down is Designs. This is where Jostens houses all of those pre-designed templates and even pre-designed pieces of pages in these libraries for you to use if you want. I don't know about you, Ryan, but I always encourage my staffs to at least start with a pre-design and then customize it from there. Because it's a lot easier to start with something than to build from nothing, typically. Just to show you how some of these um, resources are organized, Anything that you save as something that you have created yourself, that you've created custom, is always going to be saved up here at the top. Here's where your custom pieces are going to be found. This next triangle, and remember Ryan showed us, anytime there's a triangle, that means there's, it's a collapsed menu. That means there's more things to look at. The next one down is called themes. I love these because these are... Um, these are templates that have been completely designed to go with different types of themes that you might choose for your yearbook. So for example, the theme of ambition. Here's a title page that could go along with that theme. Here's some opening and closings. And the, another way to think about it is even if you don't love the word ambition, but you like the look of these pages, change them up and they've already at least been laid out in a consistent way for you. So that's what all of these are, all of those under theme. The next piece is modular, and I'm going to show you a little bit about that. Modular design is a huge, huge trend. It makes our books look clean and professional. So we have some resources to help us achieve that look. Then underneath there are page surfer categories, and those are going to coincide with the types of pages that you have in your book, sports, clubs, and organizations, and things like that. Okay? So for now, I'm gonna go back to that ambition. Um, I like the ambition look here, and I'm gonna choose a template. It's gonna ask me if I wanna retain existing content in the new template. Typically, that answer is no, so I'm just gonna hit no. So I love this. We've gone from a completely blank layout to now all of these things happening. And the good news is, just like you're used to, you guys, everything on here is changeable. So I can change this picture box. Anything that's blue is a picture box. I can move it from one location to the other. 
And I can even uh, set it on an angle. Look at all those pretty, pretty angles I can use to start making this page exactly the way that I want it. So let's pretend that I want to move this picture box. I think it's too big. I wanna pop it up a little bit and pull it down here. Okay. So while I'm here, let me show you a couple of cool things. You guys can see hopefully that when I have chosen or clicked on a picture box, I get some cool options up here. So let me show you some interesting things. First, let's say I wanna make this box small. I'm gonna pop in here a little bit. I wanna make this box small, but I wanna have a string of little boxes here so that I can really uh, hit those coverage goals. So I have this awesome duplicate button kind of instead of copy and paste. So I'm just gonna bump, 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 duplicate a few boxes here. I know I want them to kind of be, I want them to be in a line, but I, I'm in a hurry. I don't have a ton of time to make them perfect. It's hard to make things perfect as y'all know. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold my shift key and choose all of these boxes. And I'm gonna come here to arrange. When I hit that, menu, look what happens. I get this little arrange menu with a little thumbtack. If I hit the thumbtack, now this menu is available for me to move it anywhere on the page that I want. This is the beginning, you guys, of being able to customize your own workspace with these contextual toolbars that you can dock at any time. I'm so excited about this idea. I think our students are really going to love it. So while I'm here, I wanna make sure that all of these boxes are aligned right here at the bottom of this second box. So I'm gonna to come to Align Object and I'm gonna choose Align to the Bottom. When I do that, everything aligns to the bottom most in the group that I had. I also wanna make sure that all of these pieces of space are consistent inside. So I'm gonna to come to Distribute and when I do that, you could see that this box popped over a bit to make sure that now all of these pieces of space are consistent within this little grouping. So I'm really excited about that. While I'm here, I'm gonna group these pieces together. You see how now I have a dotted line around these picture boxes? Now I can move them all together to wherever I want them to go. And as you can see too, when items are grouped, if I wanna change the size a bit, I can. And it's gonna keep everything in proportion and it's gonna maintain those pieces of space that I set that I wanted. So I think that's exciting. Now, when things are grouped, they can't be edited. So we wanna make sure that when we're ready to pop pictures in, for example, that we ungroup, and now, as you can see, each of those little boxes are ready to accept pictures. So I think that's really, really exciting. The other piece that I wanted to show you really quickly before we move on too, too much, along with kind of starting to adjust our picture boxes and thinking about how we want our page to look, usually when my students uh, use a pre-designed template, they like the way it looks, but one of the first things that we want to change usually is the colors that are used. So to be able to do that, see all of these red boxes that just came in on this layout? I'm going to come up here to edit. I'm going to choose select and I'm going to choose color. For context, I'm going to say I want to choose everything that is filled with this red and I want to change it to remember Ryan set up this high school color palette for us. I know that our school color is purple. So I'm gonna change everything that is red on the page right now to purple. Boop. I'm able to do that with just the pop of a button. And so now already this page is starting to look like something that I really wanna, that looks more like my school. The next thing, so here, that's where our designs are and I'll, I'll actually, let me show you one more thing before I move designs. I have now decided that this little piece of stuff isn't cool enough. When I go to, um, to select this package of things, did you see how it made a purple box? 
I love that. So now you can really, really see the things that you are uh, grabbing all at once, selecting all at once. I've decided I don't like that. It's not cool enough for me. So inside design, since we're still in the de designs tab, I'm gonna come to modular and I'm gonna choose uh, a blue mod because I know it's sort of roughly the size of that space. Anything that's inside here in this blue module system has been perfectly designed to fit inside that piece of space. I love that. And so now when things are brought in as modulars, they're grouped. And just remember that if we need to edit them, when we're ready to edit, we're gonna break all of those apart and ungroup. And now I'm able to make the edits that I want. So I love that function. All right, Ryan, I think I'm ready to play some photos. So All right. I'm, I'm excited. We've been to pages, designs, and now we're going to go to the images tab right here. When you come to images, you're going to click our little triangle and it should, it's going to show you the folder hierarchy that Ryan showed you um, how to set up in the image library. So it's going to completely mirror what's in the image library. I can see her varsity football right here. So let's come to Varsity Football, and I'm actually gonna go through the whole step of uploading a photo. So remember, you can upload from the image library. You can also upload with the page open if you want. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what it looks like to upload from Google Drive. And while it's doing that, I just wanna say out loud, again, about how important this how exciting it is for us that this is a flash free experience for you guys. And it has also been specifically optimized for Chromebooks. So many of our schools are using Chromebooks these days and are using this Google